and welcome to New Blue FX Tips and Techniques. I'm Ian Stark for New Blue. I'm always on the lookout for simple to use tools that will not only save me time but will also add something special to my projects. New Blue's Video Essentials 4 collection contains lots of plugins that do just that. Magnifying Glass is one of them and it's a really quick and easy way to draw the viewer's attention to a specific part of your image or to enlarge a detail that might not otherwise be seen. I can see this being used widely in training and corporate videos, documentaries and even in blooper reels. In this tutorial I'm going to show you an example of a real world use from one of my own projects. Here's a fairly flat looking scan from a brochure about an early 1960s RAF aerobatics team, the Blue Diamonds. Let's spruce it up a little first by using the excellent reflection plugin, also in Video Essentials 4, and I'll cover that plugin in a little more detail in another tutorial. Now I want to highlight the pilots' faces to coincide with the narrative as their names are mentioned. That will mean I'll have to keyframe the start and end positions. So I'll start by adding an instance of magnifying glass, and it defaults to this preset, which I'll use as a starting point for creating my own preset. Let's begin by moving the magnifying glass to its starting point, and I do that using the lens position control, which lets me position the effect on my image. Just below the lens position control is a drop down selection that lets me choose the shape for my magnifying glass and the three choices are oval, rectangle or diamond. Using the size and aspect ratio controls you can play around with the shapes to achieve perfect squares and circles, narrow letterboxes or unusual shapes that can be morphed on the timeline using keyframes. For this example I'm going to keep things simple and use a perfect circle, which means I'll set the aspect ratio to zero, which by the way is the default value. Now let's set the size of the magnifying glass. I want something that will enlarge their faces only with as little of the text or border areas as possible. Let's give it a value of 35. OK, I'll quickly tweak the position. I want to zoom in even closer to the faces of the pilots, and I can do that using the magnify control. This lets me go right in close with up to eight times magnification, although that starts to show up a lot of blemishes in your original material, so you need a pretty clean image with decent resolution if you want to go in that close. A setting of one will give you the original size, but for this project I want a value of three times magnification, which gives me a nice close-up on their faces. The final set of controls I have at my disposal determine the properties of the border or rim of the magnifying glass. I can change its colour, its width, and I can feather the edge to soften it up. At the risk of being boring, I quite like the default values for this example, as they complement the reflection settings quite nicely. So the only thing remaining is for me to keyframe the movement of the lens across the image, and there you have it. Magnifying glass is a great way to focus the viewer's attention on a specific area of the screen, and in this project, the narrator will be saying the names of the pilots as the lens moves across the image. As always, I'll encourage you to play around with the different controls to see what works best for you and for your projects. You should get to grips with magnifying glass very quickly though, as it really is simple to use. To learn more about magnifying glass, or the Video Essentials 4 collection, or to find more tips and techniques tutorials, click to www.newbluefx.com. This is Ian Stark saying thanks for watching and learning a little bit about New Blue FX. Competitively priced, aesthetically fresh, and ridiculously easy to use.